So what is good YouTube? It's your boy Legendary EA back here for another video and today we will be looking at the brand new Los Angeles Lakers and this is updated all the way until Friday where they actually lost to the Thunder and D'Angelo Russell had himself a game. I still have faith in this man but yo and we will be rebuilding the new look Los, Los Angeles Lakers. Now, now, now they did have a pretty quiet trade deadline where they traded away Lou Will and, and to me that makes perfect sense they want to go ahead and tank and I completely agree with that mentality y'all we need to get our top three protected pick from the 76ers and yeah we picked up one of the worst players on the planet in, in Corey Brewer so that that helps our tanking but anyways y'all let's see what we can do y'all and if you guys want to see more of these please make sure you go ahead and, and slap it like, and, and matter of fact y'all murder that like button y'all slap it with the hammer and let's get 300 likes now, before I start this thing off, if you guys missed my video from yesterday where LaMelo Ball took over NBA 2K17, please make sure to go ahead and check that out. I think that that's my best video on my entire channel. A lot of editing put into that and so much time. But, yo, just make sure to go ahead and check that out, yo. And let's get straight into this video. So, of course, we can't make any moves with this lineup, but we can't assure that we, that we lose a lot of games. So, why not do that? So, I'm going to leave this how it is. Corey Brewer is playing a lot. Mozgov. Let's make sure, right, Brewer has to play a lot, bro. That's the only way that we guarantee L's. Brewer has to play a lot. All right. And we, we, we might as well give a lot of minutes to our young core as well, D'Angelo with 40. Ingram, because obviously if Ingram, if we didn't trade Ingram for Boogie, he must have some potential. But, yo, let's just go ahead. Let's finish out this season. And as of right now, my two untouchable players on this team is D'Angelo Russell and Brandon Ingram. I'm, I'm going to keep the Lakers' vision in real life alive. And let's see what they can become. And hopefully, we take a lot. And I mean a lot. Of L's. Because I do not want to win. And at the end of season number one, James Harden is the MVP. Now, I do think that this is going to happen in real life. 30 points a game, 8 rebounds, and 10 and a half assists. Beast, Joel Embiid, Rookie of the Year. Tyler Johnson, Sixth Man of the Year. And most improved is Deion Waiters. And coach goes to Mike D'Antoni of the Houston Rockets. Yo, shout out to H. Tom, bro. <laughs> Let's get her done. But anyways, uh, did any Lakers make the rookie team? Did Ingram, all rookie first team, look at his numbers, 10 points a game. All right. It could have been a little bit better, but, yo, we should be okay, y'all. But, yo, 15th seed. Let's, let's make sure we had the worst record in the NBA. Our record, we, we won 26 games. We had, we are we had, we had the second worst record in the NBA, but hopefully we can get that top three pick back. And as far as our stats go, here are our stats: deloading the less than points, 17 points a game, five assists, and yeah, here it all is. But yeah, let, let's just hope that we can capitalize on this, y'all. And I don't really care who wins the championship. It's probably gonna be it's probably it's, pro it's probably gonna be Golden State or no or the Clippers. Oh oh shit, it's Cleveland. How the Clippers make the NBA Finals, bruh? Anyways, LeBron gets another ring, but let's get straight into this offseason, and let's see what we can do with this team. And we slid in at the perfect time, bruh. We, we just, we, we just got saved. We with the number three pick in the NBA draft. Now, as far as who we take, all right, Luke Walton is still, is still there. Let's hire a beast assistant coach. It doesn't really matter. But yo, bro, we got so lucky. We, we exactly got pick number three now. I did like the Lakers a lot in real life. Of course, my two favorite teams is Minnesota and Houston. I rep both my cities. I like Los Angeles, but I'm sure that was only because of Kobe Bryant. Because ever since he left, I I, I don't fucking, I, I really just don't care. But, yo, as far as who we take in this draft, I'm not sure. Lonzo Ball's dad did say last night his, his, his son will only play for Los Angeles, bruh. And then, of course, he retracted his statement because he realized that, that, that shit wasn't that smart. Uh, and then... He said he only wants his son to to be a Laker. Nah, fam. Either way, let me know what you think about that. We actually might pick him up if, if he's there. Because even though D'Angelo, I'm probably going to play him as shooting guard. I, I feel like he's a, he's a he's more of a shooting guard. I mean, he can pass, but he, he really don't. Like, <laughs> uh, And, of course, I do plan on trading with Jordan Clarkson, 12 mil. Or maybe he, he, he'll come off the bench. Who knows? But let's see what we can do, y'all. And starting this thing off, we need to get rid of some of these contracts. So, Mozgov and Luol Dang. Both of y'all really got to go. So, with this first trade, we will be trading with Timothy Mozgov, a second-round pick, for a lottery protect. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't want no lotto protected pick. I just want the damn pick. So, oh, they have no choice? All right. Let's see that one. All right. 
I'm predicting the first first pick, and we got Mozgov off the books. Next up, Luol Day, and then Gok and then Corey Brewer, or we can just do both. And with our next trade, we will be sending Luol Deng and two second round picks over to the Clippers for one first round pick. Yeah, we are stacking up on these picks, bro. We are, we are in good shape. Next up, Corey Brewer, and then we will just hold off on trading away Jordan Clarkson because we actually might not. Corey Brewer is pretty ass though. Like, uh, he he did put up six points. I might I'm, I might just keep his ass. Or I can get PJ Tucker. Or first round. You know what? I'm, I'm gonna take PJ Tucker. But yo, let's see who we can get in this NBA draft. And hopefully, yo, maybe we can get our maybe we, we can get our Los Angeles guy and pick up Lonzo Ball. But I do wanna make this kind of a realistic rebuild. So I don't wanna go into free agency year one, pick up Kevin Durant, and pick up all those guys. As a matter of fact, I wanna wait until year number two and pick up Paul George. That's the goal. So right now we just in the coast. We don't need to even get a first round pick. We, we don't even need to get a top five pick for next year's draft because I do want to pick up Paul George. So hopefully we, we can make that happen. But Malik Monk goes number one. Ow. Oh. It's a no for me, dog. <laughs> nah, fam. The match smooth try to finesse us. Nah, take who y'all want to take. Josh Jackson, that's not the man I wanted. Time for pick number three. We, we might as well check out the offers and see what they got, but I do plan on picking up Alonzo Ball, Jay Crowder in the first, DeAndre Jordan, that Jake, ooh, Kemba Walker, ooh. I can, I can still get Malik Monk. I don't really want to. These are some nice trades, though. But like I said, y'all, I want to make this a fun, chill rebuild. And in real life, I do like Mark Hill folks a lot better than I like... Lonzo Ball, but yo, we, we might as well pick up our Los Angeles boy because Chino Hills is on the outside of Los Angeles, and let's pick this man up. So we get Lonzo Ball with the third overall pick, and hopefully next offseason we we can get PG. So we fulfilled Lavar's dream and brought his son to, to to the Lakers, and he's not he needs the 76 overall. So let's see who what we can get with that next pick, and hopefully there's something good there. So with this pick, we could actually pick up Frank Mason the third. I'm that's kind of interesting. I just kind of like that. But yo, let's see what I can get for this 28th pick, and let's just test out Jordan Clarkson. He might not necessarily get traded. Malcolm Brogdon, Miles, Br nah. These trades are kind of ass. All right, fuck it, whatever. All right, we are good. So, heading into rookie signing, these are all the players that we signed Lonzo Ball. We traded for Thomas Bryant and Omer Guy, whatever his name is. I really don't care. But anyway, let's get into team player options. Like, like I said, y'all, I do want to make this a fun rebuild. So, I'm, I'm going to bring these guys back. Nick Young, um, and, oh, except for Tyler Dennis. But Nick Young might be getting traded away. Who knows? We will see. But I don't want to bring in any, like, superstar players. Well, not like a Kevin Durant. I might, I might sign Chris Paul. I'm not really sure. All right, so we got all these players here. I could test out getting Chris Paul. If we don't get him, it's not having that big of a deal. Yeah, we probably won't get him. Kyle Lowry. Actually, no. What, what, what do we need? We really need to... Sh actually, I think we're good at every position. Maybe like, maybe like, like a big man, though. That could help us out a lot. Like Blake Griffin. If he wants to come here, he doesn't. I don't want to sign Paul Millsap. Surge is nice, but we already have Julius Randle, so it defeats the point. But I, I could pull a Nerlens Noel. That's interesting. Let's see how they do, because like I said, I do plan on signing PG this next upcoming free agency. And if we can pull in that man and whoever else is there, this team could possibly be stacked. So this is our lineup for season number two. But like I said, y'all, I do want to play D'Angelo as shooting guard. Uh, and, he, and he still goes up too, so that, that's not even like a big problem. But this should be an interesting year for this team. I think this team definitely has a shot to actually make the playoffs. Well, uh, maybe, maybe. We will go ahead and see y'all. But let's just see how this team does. And hopefully, at the end of next offseason, we can actually pick up Paul George. But this is the team for season number one. It's Lonzo Ball, D-Loading, Brandon Ingram, Julius Randle, and Nils Noel. Now, actually, let, let's find a backup point guard first and then we can just move on a backup point guard and or a backup shooting guard and with that we will be picking up andrew harrison light work contract and yo we are good we are good let's start simming and hopefully this team does well and i do want to 
I bash don't it, it doesn't even be playing a lot though. Like just like just to be completely honest, it really does not. Eleven man rotation, calm down, Luke. What what are you thinking? All right, all these guys can get lower minutes because I really want these guys to play a lot, especially D'Angelo and Brandon Ingram. All right. We're good. Let's see what this team can do at the end of season number two. And hopefully, honestly, I really don't really care how they do. As long as we can sign Paul George, it really does not matter to me. And this trade is garbage. And at the end of season number two, LeBron's the MVP. Josh Jackson wins Rookie of the Year. Teague Six Man of the Year. Davis Defensive Player of the Year. And Steve Kerr is Coach of the Year as the Warriors go 64-18. and 18. So, yo, our team this year, you know, kind of bad. Actually, really bad. We actually did worse. But Lonzo, all rookie for his team. Yo, team was damn near. We had the exact same record. So we, we, we won a few more games. But with that said, we had the second worst record in the West. Fourth overall. But, yo, let's just see what we can do. As far as the stats go, deloading led us in points with 23 points to gain five assists. Injured with 13 points. Ball with 12 and 7. Okay, this is exactly what I wanted to actually see from this team. But let's let's skip to the playoffs because we're not in this thing once again. We have one more year, and hopefully we can turn this team into something special, y'all. We can sign Paul George. That's the goal. I mean, they are they are winning a championship, so he might as well come home anyways. And Cleveland beats Houston in the NBA Finals. But let's get straight into this offseason. And with that said, we have the 15th pick because yeah, we didn't we trade ours away, right? Or we just don't have it. Where is our pick? Who who has our pick then? Cause I don't remember. I did not. I didn't trade away that damn pick. That shit I know. Whatever. It really does does not matter. Uh, they can take whoever they want. But we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna trade some of these players on this team. All right. So we traded away all of our first round picks. Now obviously that's something that I would not do in real life. But I just want to pick up Michael Porter. But. Hopefully, he can be our backup small forward after we sign Paul George. But I plan on making some crazy moves in this free agency. And hopefully, it's a nice class because we have a lot of money to like spend. So, with this, of course, Michael Porter is the answer. All right, so, of course, we are going to go ahead and sign Michael Porter. See player options. Yeah, all these guys, they're, they're all coming back. Every single one of them. So, we have a chance of getting PG, DeAndre Jordan, and LaMarcus Aldridge. Oh, yeah, and Melo. If Melo really wants to sign on. Yeah, give them guys some qualifying offers. Now, I'm going to leave y'all with, with the qualifying offer. Give you the minimum. Give you the minimum. And we are Gucci. All right, so I guess we're going we're gonna, we're gonna to trade away PJ Tucker to two second-round picks for two second-round picks. That's that's the most useless trade ever. All right, but let's offer Melo a contract. There's only one. And after day one, we get no one. All right, we're still good with PG. And we pull in Paul George, bruh. Now, we can't sign LA, but PG, looks like we were able to bring him back back home. All right, so uh, with that said, all right, let's see what we can do next. All right, keep y'all's pick, whatever. And it's not that big of a deal. And we get Courtney Lee, who's instantly, he, he's getting flipped instantly, but he, he's easier to flip than Nerlens. And for two seconds, that's a bet. All right, so let's see if we can go ahead and offer DeAndre Jordan right now. That would instantly help us at the center position, so let's see. And with our next trade, we will be trading away Jordan Clarkson for Josh Richardson. And, yeah, this is just this is just a salary dump because we need some more money. So let's see if we can actually go ahead and pick up DeAndre Jordan now with that. All right, let's offer him a contract. 700K, really? It ain't that big of a deal. All right, and LA. In case he wants, if he still wants to come here, he, he probably doesn't. And Melo, we we could sign Melo. I mean, or no, we cannot. We we still can't sign Melo. Okay, let's trade away Z, and that's it. I think that I think that that's the only reason that our money is like over. All right, let's let's pick up a first rounder. All right, now can we sign Melo? And I'm probably gonna trade him trade, trade him away. All right, we signed Melo, and I'm going to flip him just to see what I can get. Hopefully, it's something nice. All right, we'll just take the original trade. So, we will be trading away Carmelo Anthony, two first-round picks for Reggie Jackson and Andre Drummond. And Reggie Jackson, you already know what's going to happen to him. 
Instant flip. We have we have too many guards on this damn team, so let's trade him away. And let's see what we can possibly get. So with our next trade, we will be trading away Reggie Jackson, Thomas Bryant, a second round pick, and Tariq Black for Chris Bosch and JJ Barea. This is, this is the exact trade that I actually needed. Now, as far as the progression goes, D'Angelo Russell goes up to 86 overall. Yo, Ingram's development, it's just, it, it's not there, homie. It's, it's really not. But, yo, let's see what we can do in season number three. And this team looks good enough to where we can contend for an NBA championship. So, this is the lineup. It's Lonzo Ball, D'Angelo Russell, Paul George, Chris Bosh, and Andre Drummond. And off the bench, we have Larry Nance. Oh, we have a bunch of power forwards. All right, let's fix that. Let's fix that a lot because I do want to actually play Michael Porter a lot. So let's see. Let's trade away. Let's trade away Larry Nance and JJ Barea. And let's see what we can possibly get. Jay Crowder? Are y'all fucking. Bet. And I picked up another small forward right there, bro. And I don't even know, man. That's. I, I could not. I couldn't help myself. So with that said, Michael Porter should have a lot of trade value. Let's see what I can get for him in two seconds, though. I mean, he was just number one overall pick, so of course he should. Blake freaking Griffin. Two, bro, 2K, they sometimes come in. I can get Hassan Whiteside or Blake. I'm taking Blake, though. Bro, y'all want to throw in anything else? Michael Porter, two seconds, and Julius Reno for Blake Griffin. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that trade, but that trade is nice. I'm not going to lie. It's really, really nice, y'all. Blake Griffin is starting. Bosch is just coming off the bench. All right, we have a small forward, a power forward off the bench. We have a shooting guard. We need a we need a true point guard to come off the bench, and then we should be set. Actually, I think that we are done making trades. So for season, so for season number three, our lineup is Lonzo Ball, D'Angelo Russell, Paul George, Blake Griffin, and Andre Drummond. And off the bench, we got Chris Bosch, Jay Crowder, Josh Richardson, Juan Hernan Gomez, Brandon Ingram, Mike Muscala, and Andrew. Harrison, bro. I don't know how I feel about this team, but hopefully this team is good enough to win the NBA championship. I really, I really don't know. I think that we, we definitely have a lot of playmakers on this team, but let's just see what we can do. But we should at least finish as a second seed in the Western Conference. And at the end of season number three, LeBron wants to get his DMVP. Michael Porter of the Clippers, because because we traded him as rookie of the year. Uh, anything new to us? Coach year goes to John Smith of the Trailblazers. Good for him. Uh, did we get any Lakers on any of these teams? No Lakers at all. Nothing. Nothing. We had we had nothing, but we did finish off as the first seed with a record of 63-19. Let's see. Best record in the NBA. We beat we, we see tied with the Warriors and beat the Blazers by three. But let's see what we can do. As far as the stats go, PG led us in scoring with 20 points a game. Deloading with 19 and 7. Drummond with 15 and 12. Ball with 11 and 9. Okay. Okay, but let's see if this team can actually win a championship because that, that's that's all that matters in the end. Round one versus Philly. Actually, hold on. What, what am I doing? Round one versus the Nuggets. We take game one. And we sweep them up against the Pelicans. Let's see what we, what we can do against them. Oh, it's 3-2. Come on, end it. It's 3-3. And we win. This, that I really should have simcast that, but that's my bad. Up against Golden State. Our team is nice, though. I'm not going to lie. Our team is nice, but Golden State, let, let's, look at, let's see what they got. I hate taking on this, this damn team every single year. I, I just hate it. I, I just hate it. But we take game one. They take game two. They take game three. We take game four. They take game five. Okay. Okay. Come on, y'all. I need you to ball out. Please. Do not let us take no. Yeah, we're, we're going we're gonna to lose this match. I can never be Golden State. And they won the championship. I, I don't know, bro. But let me know what you guys think about this team in the comment section below. But like I said, y'all, let's get through and likes for the next one. This was our final roster. It was PG, Blake, D Loading, Drummond, Bosch, Jay Crowder, Lonzo Ball, Hernan Gomez, Brandon Ingram, and, and, and all these other players, y'all. But our team was so it, it was so top heavy. I don't get how we just took an L like that. But anyways, let me know your guys' opinions in the comment section below. Please make sure to go ahead and like, and please subscribe for more. But until next time, y'all, it's your boy Legendary EA. Make sure, to, oh yeah, before I leave, make sure to go ahead and follow me on Twitch. The link is in the description below, because next weekend I do plan on live streaming some rebuilds. So let me know about that. And until next time, y'all, it's your boy Legendary EA, and I'm out. Peace, y'all. I'm a gorilla in a fucking school Gonna pull up to the zoo, nigga So, nigga, who the fuck is you? I don't know, nigga No, nigga, pull up on your blocks We